Hi, welcome to my channel. I thought today I'd show you this uh, mini album I've just finished. Um, it's using, or made using, the Graphic 45 Little Women paper pad. I bought the 8x8, so for the covers, and then when I ran out, <laughs> I did add a few spare sheets from other Graphic 45, but it's basically all the Little Women. So on the front, we've got um, little handmade flowers. I die cut them on ivory card, inked them, um, and then shaped them obviously, covered them in Mod Podge to stiffen them and give them a bit of shine. And then I stuck them on. And then also there's this gorgeous, I love Victorian things, antique things. And this is um, a hat pin and it's gorgeous. It's got the bronzy top, so you can. I added that in the middle. It has gone a little off centre, but it's fine, it's only for me. And then under there, if you can see, these are gorgeous glass and glass beads, and inside they're like turquoise and gold, and they're really pretty. Um, then just here, I've got the girls from the book, and this was from the first page I think it was and I just cut it out stuck it to card fussy cut that as well so it would give it a back in put it down with foam pads and then that I thought that would look really nice in front of there and start the theme going and then I did the same with the title up there it's just fussy cut and the card behind and then this is just paper die cut um, just so you don't see the spine cover as it comes around and joins and inside this page is this is one of the spare papers I use at the end because I had run out but it turned in okay um, die cut and stamp that I like this stamp set it's really cool proper girly stamp set and got the stamp that goes with it there then over this side We've got um, die cut uh, bird cage with the bird and birds, little butterflies and flowers, that sort of thing. And then this is what I like with Graphic 45. They have pages in there that have got all these um, little panels, I suppose you call them in there, uh, with little things on there or little pictures that go with it. So you can use them for so many different things. Anything from tags to, um, like with this, I've used it as like a corner piece and then that's the same thing but that's loose and they're both back with card and then put down so you can put these behind there and some of them are okay for journaling that kind of thing and there's pictures of my grandson Jackson there on photo maps when he was brand new touch of Peter Pan bucket list get kidnapped by pirates <laughs> this one I thought is just make a nice little book it's some of the panels and then I die cut no I didn't die cut I fussy cut a flower to make it a little bit decoupagey uh, fussy cut this off one of the sheets as well I'll put that across the top um, I just raised on foam pads and slightly bent it up a bit and then inside you've got it's like as if you've got a page or two from inside the book so I just thought that was a nice um, little thing to add. Popping back down there. And then there's just some gold braid across there just to bring some light into it. And then the next page is just a big um, photo page really. And it's Jackson again. And I put the birdcage down there again for the corner and then put him over it so that it looks like he's just adds to the picture and then took part of that die cut and just put it up there just to add some decoration then over this side we've got some more of those little panels they're always so nice and then you can just put card on the back they make nice um, gift tags as well and then the photo mats, that's a 7 by oh, strap, move that way. 
a 7x5 photo mat there and then you've got I cut out a little label put some butterflies on it and then this is die cut as well for the pocket put that down you can get quite a bit in there and then turn over again and then this is a photo page um, a retro picture of me and my grandson Cooper at sports day when he was little and then this is fussy cut again an on card and another panel I can never pick them up with my nails there you go just stuck down there just black on the back and you can move these around take them in and out put something else in there put some journaling notes whatever you want really then this side is die cut and then you've got this then makes like a little pocket and then you've got a bigger tag there some more panels different paper this isn't in the set this is just a contrast and this has got a magnet in it I'm going to when you open that up then you've got a small pocket there die cut I punched that edge with a craft punch and then this is die cut a die cut label I think that was spellbinders and then a picture of me and my son Tom when he was small and then a photo page and this is Tom and Michael when he was small bless let's put that back turn over again next page another little label and then um, that's punched little pocket and I've put that there for now but that will probably get replaced with photos or photo mats or else I can put big pictures down there um, a nice bit of a deeper pocket some more um, handmade flowers and a but die cut butterfly and another hat pin and just some lace trim I just thought that would be different and then Jackson again there and that there at the back is a let's come back a bit so you can see better is a photo mat you take that out it's just this will be that's what the actual page looks like let's move my strap out of the way and turn over and then there's my little fur baby and she's on a photo mat I've started using these um, acid free um, little um, I don't know what you call them little bags they're to protect photographs because then the photographs don't get knocked or scratched in the album when you turn over pages and from the embellishments and things and then down there's a die cut camera and then I punch the corners and that little piece of ephemera is off a different Graphic 45 set. This is a different Graphic 45 as well, but I can't remember the name of it now. And open it up, and then you've got a big page up there. You can add journal in, you can write on it, you can stick pictures on it, anything you want to. And then over this side, obviously, you get the whole photo page there. And then this side... It's got the small pocket. Um, I didn't make that fly, I got him out of hobby craft, but I die cut this little locket shape behind. More um the little women ephemera and some odd things out of my stash. And then this is a photo mat and I put like a little piece there so you could slide things underneath. I punched that with a craft punch. And this has got a magnet in it, and you open it up. And inside, um, I like to put odd envelopes in there, at least one at the back or something, for putting little bits and bobs in that you want to keep safe, but you might not want in your album at the time or whatever. And then we've got uh, Jackson there playing in his chair when he was, oh, that's a couple of months ago now, and a little die cut heart. Yeah, it's nice. So you've got quite a, quite a lot in there. I'll put these down. And this one's got the um, punched edge as well. I'll just take them out because they're going to 
full anyway. So you could take them out and you could actually use that page and stick a picture on there, the same as this one with Lexi, if you wanted to. Let's turn that over. Photo page with <coughs> little journaling panel, again, black card in the back, and die cut hearts in the corner. And granddaughter Evie, beautiful as ever. And then this is another fussy cut and you can put things behind there or leave it plain, doesn't matter, just leave it as decoration. And this side is the same, Evie again, even smaller. And you've got a nice big, I like this size album because it's nice for a picture and you've got room you can put things underneath or you can just leave it open whatever you want. And that's a little chipboard embellishment. And that's butterfly. I cut out a ivy one first and inked it with orange, an orangey colour. And then I cut out another one in black and stuck that to the top. So it's like two tone to match him with the page. And then over this side, grandson Michael. Um, handmade flower with the gilding wax to make it look metallic. And in the corners, die cut corners. These aren't loose, I stuck them down, just wanted for decoration. And then here you've got the photo mats and this is a little book. I've got some um, seam binding. I love seam binding. It's, it's can be you can have it crinkly, you can leave it straight. It tends to crinkle on its own anyway as you use it. It's I love it, it's nice and light as well. <clears throat> Excuse me, and inside is like a little book, so you could put pictures in there, you can write things in there, you can add pockets to it if you wanted to, and that's the same on the back as well. I'll put these back in later. And then this side is my other little grandson Mark on his first birthday, die cut clock, and butterflies, and more handmade flowers over. This one I did as a double corners so that it's nice to have some pages where you can put plenty of photo mats in, plenty of pictures. Um, this, I love this little, um, this is Spellbinders and it's a locket so you've got a little die cut butterfly and then the locket when you open it up I've cut out the girls from the book again, the little women and put them inside and you can shut that up like that, it's nice. And then um, journal on there. And this is my granddaughter Tegan when she was three. I love that picture of her. And that's her on her fourth birthday. Yes. I might just take them out, <coughs> excuse me, actually out the way. And this side has got matching sheet black on the back as before and then pictures of Mark my grandson journaling and um, that was like a postcard these are quite nice I don't remember where I got them from though they were in my stash and then the lovely Lexi of course <laughs> That's her. and then on this corner we've got the black behind paper on top and then die cut, butterflies, clouds, and hot air balloon. Oh, good jump up ready. This one is a to do. It keeps bending up, but I don't know why. Um, so I have to look at that. Cover pictures of Lexi and a journaling postcard sheet thing. And then this was punched. Um, I think it was a Martha Stewart punch I used for that one and then die cut flowers, another locket, leaves all mod podged and stuck on it's nice because it stiffens it a little bit and stops from getting too um, rough, roughed up really, you know, damaged when you're looking out